time. Let's get going on this thing. Welcome to introduction to Winners Club, and let's start off talking about what the Winners Club has got for you know you in life. You probably would notice the same thing. Life comes down to whether or not you're making progress or not. If you're making progress, hey, it's a sunny day. You're happy. You're not making progress, sad. It's like trying to go down the road and there's a big blockade detour in your life. And so how can you, there's so many people stuck right now. They're wanting to move up. They're working hard, but they're stuck. So how can we fix, get you out of the stuck mode and move you over to the happy mode? Let's take a look at some things that can make a difference there. See, what you find is the ordinary, overwhelming majority of people, they need mentors. They need an environment. And let me tell you, let me just show you an example of how that goes. Here's where most people are. They want to move up. They want to do it big. But so few do it big. They roll through life pretty much stuck on the bottom, doing the same old things, Why a few will break out. And the reason why is you've got to develop. Nobody's good enough to do this when you start. You've got to develop and get good enough because the magic ingredient in success is not what game plan, what program you're doing. The magic ingredient is you. And so you're down here. In the beginning, you're not going to be good enough to do what it takes, much less all the time and effort it takes to get it. To, to get there that you have to put in. But even when you put in that time and energy, you're, you're not skilled yet. That's going to take time to develop. But as you do that, you're going to find if you have the people that are successful, see, they have a little secret. They have a thing called an environment. It's like hot house environment. They have a company. They have a club. They have a group. They have a relationship. They have a family. Some kind of environment where they can get in and they have some mentors, some advisors. They have some uncles, possibly. They have some interested bosses or friends who can show them the way. Because going to the top is a lot like going on an interstate. You go down the road, a lot of exit ramps. You get started, but then you get off track because it looks like, I think this is it. I think this is our exit. But if you take the wrong exit, you get off track, you go right back down to the bottom. But if you have people who have been there before, they can say, nope, not that one. It looks right. Not that one. Get back on track. Keep going. Keep going. When we look at this thing, I don't know if you have had a lot of these mentors, advisors. I had them. I had the chance to be around CEOs, million dollar earners, high achievers, people who have started with nothing, went to the top, people who won championships, won Super Bowls. I I was fortunate. It I took it for granted. But eventually I realized, like a lot of people, I'm not the only one who's had that exposure, but I realized without that constant exposure, I would have been doomed I would have been stuck back here. That without those that environment, without those mentors, I would not have had a chance to develop. See, as we talk, you know, like I'm talking talked earlier, progress in life is what makes you happy. Like we're doing I'm doing a webinar right now. Unfortunately, I don't have anybody to show me really how to do the webinar, so I'm stumbling and fumbling. But guess what? Next time I do the webinar, it's going to be better. At some point, you got to get on the dance floor and dance. You got to get on the interstate and start moving. And as you get out there, it's just like in these webinars. Because I'm now in the game, I'll find I'm in the environment now. I'll find the mentors. We'll be state of the art. But you got to start at some point. You got to be willing. In the beginning, you're not good enough. 
but I know I'm going to get better, just like you. In your life, the magic ingredient is you. And that's what the Winners Club is all about, to create the mentors and the environments for the people who have never had a chance to be exposed to those things. Like, And so this goes back to this point that we had a minute ago. The overwhelming majority need mentors and environments. Let me give you an example. One year I was in a ski school at Vail, Colorado, and the lady doing it, her husband was the head of the Beaver Creek Ski School. This was a guy who's just a normal skier. One summer, he had the chance to go over and to ski with a French ski team. And he was just a helper, pairing po poles and equipment up and down the mountain. You know, you can ride the lifts up, but then you got to ski it down. So he's, you know, he's like a pack mule at the end of the day. Morning, they're setting up the practice courses. In the end of the day, they're tearing them down and they're carrying down all of this stuff. But all day long, he was looking at the skiers, watching them ski, talking to them, spending time. It was a total immersion experience, yet he was oblivious to how it was affecting him. He was just hanging out. He was working. He was observing. Had a fantastic summer. Yet when the next seasons came around, his friends, and especially his girlfriend, became his wife, and who was telling the story 15 years later, they were all amazed at how well he was skiing, because what had happened was he had transformed. He looked like a pro himself. He looked like he was on the ski team. Just being around them for three months had totally transformed his skiing without even trying. And one summer, even though he was aware of it, being in the pressure cooker environment, surrounding, surrounded by people he did not even know were his mentors, changed his life. He was so good at skiing, eventually he moved up through the ski instructor ranks and eventually became the ski school director, mentors and environment. Another one is Cheryl Swopes. See, there's only 50 million examples of this. Cheryl Swopes is an incredible basketball player, one of the early pioneers of the, the uh, women's professional basketball thing. She was a little girl in Texas who wanted to play basketball. Everybody told her, forget about it, but she just loved it. Everybody was against her. She told her mom, Mom, I need one person to believe in me, and that person has got to be you. She found a high school coach that believed in her. She developed. She got a scholarship at Texas Tech. She found a coach, college coach who believed in her. In fact, saw a potential and said, Cheryl, if you apply yourself, you can be the best to ever play the game. The result, they won the 1993 college NCAA women's basketball championship she turned pro just as they were starting the women's nba at, with houston and that team won the first three now this was first three women's nba championships all of that came from a girl who started out wanted to love basketball wanted to play wasn't any good but fortunately found the right environment and the right mentors Another one is, this is a guy I just uh, found out about last week. A guy named Bob Mankoff. He's a cartoonist in New York. As a struggling cartoonist in the early 70s, he sent a total of 2,000 cartoons to New Yorker magazine. See, it takes time to be successful. All 2,000 were rejected. Over 2,000 before he had one accepted. But, see, he was in a community of people who were in the artistic community in New York. He was learning. He was improving. Eventually, they started accepting his cartoons. You know what he is today? Today, he's the cartoon editor for The New Yorker. If you're going to win a championship, if you're going to do great things, you've got to have a coach to help get the best out of you. Sometimes. It's technique. Sometimes it's training. Sometimes it's encouragement and insight. Sometimes it's simply outside feedback. Sometimes it's simply another look, at, uh, a set of eyes looking at you perform and giving you, uh, you know, their viewpoint. Sometimes you just can't see what you're doing. But all of these things drive you to look for advantages to improve and to move up. And the secret that you find people talk about is the more time you spend with people at the top, the faster you'll get to the top because 
greatness is caught and not taught. You can learn fundamentals. People can teach you fundamentals, but it's how you apply the fundamentals that makes all the difference. And again, you're the magic ingredient. Have you ever wondered why reading books and listening to audio tapes is not enough for most people? It's because greatness is caught. Just reading the stuff, okay, I read it. You know, listening to a joke doesn't make you a comedian. Reading a joke book doesn't make you a comedian. You have to know how to, you know, you may know the joke, but you don't know how to tell the joke and be funny. It's the same thing in success. Just reading about it. Now, some people can, but it's like golf. Very few people can read a, golf, a Jack Nicklaus book on golf, and they're going to turn into a PGA Tour player. Now, believe it or not, a few have. But very few, almost nobody. Most people go nowhere without a program. See, it's one thing to have some ideas, but it's another thing to have a program. A program is where you get the environment, where you get the mentors, where over time you can improve. That's why we're doing the Winners Club. We talk about to be a champion, you need championship coaching. You need championship competition. And why is that? They push you to look for ways to improve. And these ways to improve are everywhere. And the greatest speech I ever heard on that to make that point come alive is Al Pacino in the Any Given Sunday movie. Go listen to that thing. He's in the locker room. He's talking to the coaches. I mean, the players. And he was talking about football being a game of inches. And where are these? He said, if we're going to win, we're going to fight for those inches. And, you know, the inches are going to be what makes the difference. And where are they? They're everywhere. Everybody on every play, there's there's a little bit of an advantage. A t- you get there a little quicker. You can push them a little further. He said, "All if everybody is working together, pushing for a little bit extra, the result is when the game's over, you're going to win. See, that's what... Being in the environment, being in the right, having the right mentors and supports can push you to improve because they drive you to look for those kind of advantages. So let's talk a minute about some of the details about the Winners Club to give you a chance to think, is this something that you might be interested in? Who exactly should be interested in the club? Here's who should be interested. People who are dead serious about taking charge of every area of their life, and they're driven to get results now. People who are frustrated, they want to move up. They realize they've got to get better so their life can get better. People who look around, see other people being successful, and see no reason why the same things can't happen to them. People who refuse to live inferior second-class lives, missing out on the good things other people are experiencing. It's for people who want an advantage. It's for people who want to make up for lost time. And and who is it not for? It's not for everybody. See, this is for people who are in a hurry. People who are tired of waiting. It's for people who are not trying to just get by minimum effort and bother. You know, there's some people that go through life, it's like, do we have, you know, it's just like everything's a chore. Do we have to? Well, the answer in this world is, no, you don't have to. You can be average. You can be ordinary. You don't have to do the extra. Just, there's certain people, they just want to get by. But the people the club is for is for people who want the most out of life. People who want to be out front. For people who are bored by the basics. You know, I mean, they learned the basics 15 years ago. They want to do something now. They want to move on to greatness. It's for people who want to go to the top in whatever their chosen profession, their activities, whatever they're involved in, they want it to work. They want to succeed. They want to have the maximum fun, success out of it. They don't want to spend their lives almost getting there. Like Art Williams said, the world is full of people who almost do it. This is for people who are sick and tired of being in the almost crowd. They want to move over to the did it crowd the doing it crowd. They don't want to spend their lives, does this sound familiar? Always learning, never achieving. The people have been going to the gym for 20 years and they don't look any better than they did when they first started working out. See, this is for people who want to see how good they can be, who want to see what is their ultimate potential. Not because they have to, not because anyone's making them, just because it would be fun 
to see how good they could be. They know they've got potential. They just like to see how much potential they have. Now, why is the club unique? You know, I was, I've been batting this around for a couple of months. And this, again, uh, for me also, this is not something that I have to do. Things you can get excited about, you feel are valid or worthwhile would pay off. And it's not just pay off in something to pay off in money. Money's not an issue for me. It's a pay off in making a difference in other people's lives. And you're looking around and you say, you know, is this even worth doing? But then it came to me one day, all people with special interests. If you've got a special interest, just about anything you can think of, they have a club. Why is that? I started thinking about all the clubs that I'm in. Well, churches are clubs, more or less, but, you know, all the churches, all the, those type of organizations, and then hunting clubs, riding clubs I've been in in the past, golf clubs, beach clubs, social clubs, dinner clubs. There's all kind of clubs. None of them were necessary. They're all extras. Nobody forced me to get in, but it was something I wanted to get involved in, and you know, these clubs are centered around one common unifying interest. And when you're in those things, you can make, that's where you find your friends, your greatest friends, because those are people who have the same interests that you have, like-minded people. That's where you find like-minded people. And you find out that you make an impact on people, on each other's lives over time. And I found out this was like all clubs. They're worth the time. You know, you've got time and money, anything you do, even a church, time and money is, is, is going to be an investment. But what else are you going to do with your life? See, this comes down to what are you going to do with your life? You find the things you're interested in. You associate with people who are interested in a similar, similar thing. The Winners Club is all about finding people who are always fired up about winning, make the most of, making the most of their lives, and doing fun things, extraordinary things, and banding together with like-minded other people and sharing what they've learned and learning from each other. That's the idea. It's focusing on things that make life special. With the idea came, why not put a club together for that? We got clubs for everything else. And so let's look now at the theme. That kind of brings up to the theme of this thing. The mission statement. What would the mission statement be? Well, one thing is that things can always be better. Have you ever heard that before? Donald Trump uses it a lot. A lot of people use that phrase. But here's the thing about that that they never tell you on things can always be better. Things can all be better, but hey, guess what? They ain't ever going to get better by themselves. Things can always be better, but winners can show you how to make them better. See, that's part of the theme of the winner's club. Not just things could be better, but if you want to make them better, you're much more likely to learn from a winner. Another one is... In the Bible, Proverbs 27, 17. And that's one you may be f uh, familiar with. It says, as iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. That's the idea of the winner's club. Banding together to keep each other sharp and moving forward. And so what are we for? Sharpening for what? For growth. To fighting mediocrity. You know, to, for settling and for getting stale. To keeping things moving forward, fresh, exciting. And it's focused primarily, the theme is focused on you, the magic ingredient, and helping you, me, all of us together to be able to grow. And as we grow, we find all areas of our life are going to be able to grow. So that's the theme behind Winner's Club. See, the deal is, it's like these webinars. You can... You know, I'm doing a terrible job on the webinar, but I'm going to get better. You can only get better. And that's the deal. You don't have to be held back because what you're not good enough at now, you can improve. You can move up. You can get good enough because the truth is no one is good enough when they start. So you don't have to worry about that. Nobody's good enough when they start. You know, I wish I, I was as good now as I'm going to be next year. No one is good enough. You get better. The point is you can get good things if you get going and keep going, but the odds improve with environment mentors, coaching, and competition, having a peer group. So what are we going to be? What are the activities? Real simple. We all got busy lives, so I'm going to keep it. Some of these things you get involved in, they waste your time and energy by backing a tractor trailer load up to your 
life and dumping a thousand tapes and a thousand books and just to prove that it's worthwhile. And most of this stuff is pablum. We're going to work hard to keep it brief. I know it doesn't look like it, but I have spent at least 50 hours putting this material together, probably closer to 100 hours, as lousy as a format as I'm doing right now, I'm presenting this thing. It took me 50 to 100 hours, and I'm pretty good at stuff, but you get better and you improve. But the idea is to get it down to, see, in the beginning, I you know, we had an idea, and it was like, we could do all of these things, all of this incredible stuff. This would just be fantastic. Wow, wow, wow. But the deal is we're all busy. And you can only absorb so much. But like, how can we get it down into bite-sized chunks? An hour a week. See, that's what the webinars are going to be. See, the hard, it's easy to talk for three hours. It's hard to talk for five minutes. And so in the activities, we're going to have weekly webinars. You can watch it uh, live or you can watch it a replay later. You can watch it on the webinar. Or you can listen to the audio. And uh, they'll be up for a month. I'm not going to leave them up forever, but I'll leave them up for a month. And then we also have as a follow-up to massage these things in. This is not a lecture, this is not entertainment, not a lecture series, not a concert. You got to massage this stuff in. So we've got forum, bulletin board, whatever you want to call it, where you can have questions, comments, insights, highlights stood out to you that you wanted to share with other people, or anything that you want to ask, anything you want to put on the table, that's what we're gonna have. Our clubhouse for so all of these past webinars all of the questions all the written details we'll have a clubhouse it's on Wydell on winning you have to have a password to get in it's not going to be open to the public so we can have our own conversations in there and massage all of these topics in when the webinar is over and so like we're saying it's not a lecture series but you're gonna have I will tell you this you're gonna have to push yourself it's like a dance floor you're gonna have to push yourself to comment, to get involved, and it might take you a while, but the quicker you get involved in the discussions, making comments, asking questions, the more you're going to get out of it. Now, people always, you know, the natural question is, why not make it free? Why is there a charge? Well, it's not a free buffet. This is not a buffet. This is something optional. This is something that is fun. It is for the most highly motivated. This is not for the masses. Now, for the masses, I got tons of free information out there already. This is not something you gotta have. You can get you can get by probably uh, you know unless you're really motivated. You're one of the really motivated people, really want to make it happen. You can find stimulating information of all kinds, tons of free information, of over 100 videos, closer to 120 on the White L Academy that's on the website and YouTube, hundreds of past blog posts. And by the way, it's popular. Over 30,000 videos have been viewed. It has only been up since October. And the website, that's with the White L Academy, and the website gets a half a million page views per year. All this is free. And in addition, each week of the website, I put out more free videos and articles. And then every day on Twitter, I've got 20 or more bite-sized chunks of thoughts on winnings, insights, just kind of random things that come up in the course of the day. These are the kind of things that if we were riding around in a car together, we'd be talking about. Since we're not doing that, I can put it on Twitter. So you can see there's plenty of free material. Nobody actually needs anything else. But this, the Winners Club is the elite training for the driven people, not geared for the masses. Optional, fun. And so the cost, what is the cost all about? The cost is kind of a fun thing. Right now, I don't know how long I'm going to be doing it. And so I'm not committing to a lifetime of doing it. Seems like it could be a great idea. Seems like it could be a lot of fun. Seems like we might, could identify a special group of people that would be fun to work with. You know, if you're a coach, if you're a teacher, if you've got bright, energetic, gung-ho kids or players to work with, you know what? You love coaching. 
You love teaching. You can't get, you know, can't get it out of your mind. You can't wait to get going the next day. But if you've got people that are just going through the motions, that are troublemakers, that are lazy, it just makes everything a drag. Well, you know, fortunately, I'm at a point in my life where I don't have to put up with that. If I can't find any excited people to work with, I ain't going to work. But I like to be stimulated. And at my stage of life, I get the most stimulation by the what I know is not doing me any good. The reason I started with the websites, the blogs, the videos, the tweets, the conference calls, on uh, the big hitter calls, is the fact that what I know is not doing me any good. And it only does any good when I can pass it on to someone else. But it doesn't do any good if I pass it on to somebody who's not going to do anything with it. But if by identifying a motivated, gung-ho group of people, Folks, we're going to have some fun together. We're going to make some magic happen. And, or at least that's the game plan. If we don't, I'll just shut it down. So it's a month-to-month -month thing. Who knows what the future will lead? But here's the deal. Because of this, and I'm not interested in your money, but I, I want it to cost you something. I want you to have to think about whether or not you want to be involved in this thing or not. And so you're going to be charged. But here's the good news. And every month, everyone gets a free a free 30-day free trial every month because you're only going to be charged one month at a time. And during that month, if you feel you're not, it's not working out for you, you don't want to w keep going, we'll give you your money back. We'll s wave goodbye and part friends. You know, unbelievable. See you later. It's just like dropping out. If we had a, a fishing club and you decided, I'm not doing much fishing, I'm not going to uh, sign up the next year. Fantastic. You know, enjoy, you know, Enjoy. So what are we going to do next? What's the next step? Here is what I recommend. Here's how to get started. We're going to kick off our Power Lunch webinars every Wednesday, 1 p.m. And starting next Wednesday, August 7, we're going to have Power Lunch webinars. They'll go live. We're aiming to keep them down to one hour. We'll extend them. I'll extend them if I feel like I need to go longer. Sometimes. Uh, you have to do that. But we're going to shoot for one hour, and then if you can't watch it live, you can watch in uh, on a webinar from a computer, mobile device. There's an uh, go to webinar has a app, or you can listen live over the phone, dial in, or you can watch later. Uh, it'll be posted at the clubhouse, or you can call in and listen to the audio. And so what will happen is there's going to be after this call is over, and by the way, let me just tell you, honor system. You're going to have a password to get in the club. You have a, we'll send you the details where you can get on the calls. You're paying to do this. We're going to operate off the honor system. We're going to trust you to keep the club exclusive. We have a small staff. We don't have a big uh, NSA security operation here. We're not able to build this big, big security system to keep hackers out. There's probably going to be ways people can find to sneak into the organization for free. But here's the deal. Obviously, anybody we catch, uh, leaving the door open, letting people in on their password, you know, undermining the integrity of the club, you're going to be, uh, once we identify, we're going to have to show you the door. Think of it this way. Anybody you're doing that for, you're not doing them any favor anyway because if they're unwilling, because everybody's able to come up with $50, $50 a month, that's Starbucks money. But if they're unwilling to put 50 bucks up to join a club to help themselves improve, they obviously don't get the concept that the magic is them, and if they don't get better, if and to get better, they better have some mentors and environment where that can happen. If they don't get that concept, this is not going to do them any good anyway. Just let them listen to the free stuff. Sooner or later, you'll learn that trying to do favors for people who won't work for themselves only makes them lazy and dependent on you. The sooner they learn they've got to pull their own little red wagon, the better. It never accomplishes what you want. And so if they can't afford the 50 bucks, tell them to go use a, tons of free information and to get their darn income up to where they can afford $50. And so the club is for club members, otherwise it loses its flavor. And the next step is an email will come to you after this webinar. An email is going to be sent to you and you can sign up then. So now I'm going to, a little bonus thing I just 
came up with, I'm going to take a couple of minutes and do a short attention span version of what we've caught, we've covered so far. And it's why you might consider getting involved in Winner's Club, and it has to do with motivation, and it has everything to do with why I'm doing it. So here we go. First of all, the world needs great leaders. The world is full of people, ideas, and money. So the world has got a gr worldwide shortage of leaders everywhere and in every arena. I'm excited about helping the next generation of great leaders because of the impact they can make. Now, here's the point. Average people can become great leaders, but nobody starts great. If you want greatness, you've got to change. You work, you grow into it. You've got to be flexible. You've got to go beyond your comfort zone. Greatness is something you go to step by step, and it takes coaching. All Olympic champions have coaches, folks. Greatness, you can deny it if you want, but you're, you're, uh, you're living in a dream world. It takes coaching. Greatness has no limits. You don't have to get your coaching here. You know, hopefully you have a coach. But this Winners Club is for people who want an extra dose or they don't have any at all and they, they, they want to bring that into their life. They want to see if that make a difference. See, greatness, you do step by step, but it has no limits. That's what's so exciting about it. Who knows how far you could go, how many people you could impact, how high you could rise in your life. See, that's the great excitement about improving. Who knows what kind of magic is inside you? Now, the price of greatness has changed. Every great leader would tell you the hardest thing they had to go through was not work, but changing personally. We don't like to change. We don't like to be told that we've got rough edges that need to be knocked off. We don't like to apologize. We don't like to have to go through that stuff. You know, it's just like anything. It's, you know, we just like to show up ready-made. But unfortunately, we got to be polished. And you're going to have to be polished. You're going to have to make adjustments. Some of the ideas that you believe in with everything you got, you're going to find out wrong. That's a dumb idea. you got to be willing to admit that you ain't perfect getting started. Otherwise, you can't improve. And you got to be coachable. We don't like to be coachable. We don't like to change, don't like to be coachable, don't like to find out that we're not perfect already. But see, that's the price of greatness, change, you changing. You want to be great? You got to change. And you're not good enough to do all the things that you're capable of doing yet, but you can get that good. So that's why it's so fun to go for the top. You look around, others are winning. You think about it and you say, if others are winning, I can too. Now, I can waste time guessing on how to figure out how to make it happen, or I can spend that time winning, following winners. Winners know the way. Everyone else is just guessing. Winners know the way, and they have secrets that would work for you if you knew who they were. See, everybody deserves a chance to win. Losers become winners every day. Life will beat you down. But winners can show you how to overcome. If you're ready, then follow the winners. They know the way. See, Winners Club is about how otherwise ordinary people can grow and be able to do extraordinary things. That's what's exciting to me about this project. That's why I haven't been able to get it out of my mind. And that's why I'm giving it a try. Maybe. You want to jump in and go along on the ride with me. To me, it seems like a win-win proposition. And again, every month, you get a 30-day free trial. You can get your $50 back at any moment. Hopefully, you got some a good overview of what we're doing. If you're interested, when you get that email, fill it out, sign up. We'll kick it off next Wednesday. If you're listening to this on YouTube later, go to our website. We'll give you a link where you can find that form and you can sign up uh, on the website. Go, go, go. I've had a great time talking with you and we'll look forward to getting going next Wednesday. 
because once we get going, you'll have a chance in the in our uh, clubhouse to put your feedback, to ask your questions, and we'll be able to keep these conversations going all week long.